Okay, we are live. Perfect, perfect. This live is in English um, on purpose because I want to bounce back into a, uh, a topic. I almost spoke French. A topic so important to me. And a lot of people sometimes, um, you know, we, we be part of the OG of the internet. You know, I've, I've been on the internet doing videos since 2008. So I've been doing this for 15 years globally. French world, Spanish world, English world. Um, been traveling for, you know, in four continents, doing global tours for more than seven years. You know, I have clients in 69 countries, I speak three different languages. I have my content available in multiple languages, and that's what we are doing. So when it comes to, I was watching uh, some podcasts not too long ago, and what I realized that there's a lot of people who are complaining about the money you know going down for podcaster creators and stuff like that and i was watching one of my favorite podcasts um you know i don't know if you know them but um you know nikki and moose and shout out to them i believe it was their recent episode um you know less than a week ago and they were talking about um kev on stage and different people who are complaining about revenue going down And, you know, I've been watching the space very closely. Um, one of my mentors, um, EO Fire, uh, John Lee Dumas, has been talking about it for a long time. I believe that as a community, as black creators, especially sometimes we try to keep up so much with a culture that we're going from entrepreneur to um, a blogger. So when it comes to blog, blogging now, when you hear blogging in the last four or five years, is somebody who just talk about the gossip, was hot, who slept with who. This type of content, unfortunately, there's just a few people who are very good at it. You need to have a certain personality, come back with, you know, everything come with it. So whenever there's something, so you're gonna get views. But how many videos do you think that people are gonna watch about what's going on, for example, between Jada and Will? How many videos? Maybe three or four. So it's a timing issue. Like as soon as there's something happening, how fast can you get on it and talk about it? But it's kind of like you don't really helping people. You're just gossiping and you get paid on views. The problem with that is if your entire platform, your entire business strategy is just based on views, you're not going to be able to sustain that. It's almost like, a, I like to tell, you know, preacher, it's like a preacher depending on tithes and offering. If your ministry, you only depend on tithes and offering, you're not going to make it. You need to have all the means, you need to have all the business to support the system. So if you're a creator, if you're an author and speaker, the number one thing you have to do is to make sure that if you do talk about the news or something happened to the news, create it in a way of a storytelling To tell people about your business but if your business becoming talking about other people's business now you're not an author no more you're not a podcaster no more you become now a blogger we talk about gossip you're just another gossip show so even as black people globally in the entire diaspora we have to talk about stuff we have to talk about if jay-z come out with a new venture or if oprah's doing something if tyler drops something new You know, whoever that you watch, even in a black show, what's going on, who's going to impact uh, our people economically. You know, last time I did a, a huge video on Francis um, Ngannou and Tyson Fury because it was so important for our African diaspora. The business move that he did, the ownership. So I'll talk about that. Not necessarily, do you think he won? Do you think he lost? I, I didn't went to the gossip part. I went to the business argument of of, of um, Francis Gano for somebody, I mean, you know, we used to be homeless a few years ago in France and now, you know, just making one of the, becoming one of the biggest person in a combat sport, as we speak right now, is, is the most bankable fighter from boxing to MMA, all that combined, right now is the hardest commodity. So this is so important. So Now, I want you to be more focused about the educating your platform. Educate people. 
about your business. Like me, I'm always going to talk about global marketing because I'm global. So I'm talking about what I know. I'm not going to talk about what, you know, somebody else talking about, you know, something different. I'm not going to try to copy somebody. The only thing I'm going to do is to amplify who I am and teach business principle on that. Okay, storytelling based on what I know, what I'm doing and my services and everything else. So let's make sure that we don't get into, let me talk about hot topic. You know, what, what you want to do? You want to be another view show or something? What, you know, don't become a copy of something who's hot on TV and you make it in a podcast. If you want to be a podcaster, talk about sport, talk about sport. Talk about sport, talk about what, you know, people are doing in sport, outside their life of sport, who impact their sport. Don't, don't become a gossip show, okay? So when you see somebody like Kevin Stage, one of the most powerful um, influencer in the black community, he was a comedian, Christian comedian, is very important. You know, don't use a lot of curse uh, words and stuff. He got a podcast, podcast, you know, who've been very successful for the last few years, but unfortunately, you know, it's like, you know, the revenue, you know, are down, you know, for no matter what's going on. And he's saying like, okay, I want my Patreon um, community to help me because, you know, he still want to pay his staff, so he just bring it to the community. Now, some people are not really agreeing with that. I believe that, you know, he has to tell people what's going on. But what I've been preaching since 2017 to everybody who's online, say, look, man, do not, do not count on your subscriber. You have to, you have to know that the distance between a subscriber and a client is 5,000 miles. I have to shock you to tell you that because like we're in a society where people say, oh, I got such and such subscriber, I got a million subscribers, I got a million followers. Unfortunately, most people, when you go live and do something, you're really going to have more than 10%. Not because you're not that popular, not because you got fake followers, even if 67% of celebrity bought fake followers, that's another live. But I want you to understand that. Like, hey, wait a minute, what I need to do? So what you need to do if you're an artist, you're a singer, uh, you, you, you write songs, whatever that you do, um, you're an author, you're a speaker, do not rely on your following online alone. The following online is a matrix, very, you know, it's cool, but that matrix, you have to figure out a way to um, convert those followers into your own platform. Like today, if you're watching me today, even on replay, and you don't have your own platform, and I will break it down because a lot of people think, think own platform is like, oh, I got my Instagram, this is not for you. Or oh, I got my Facebook, this is not yours. Or oh, I got my TikTok, this is not for hey, I got my YouTube channel, no. Those terms are, ah, no, this is not yours, this is why it's free. You're renting the platform. You're renting the platform, and because it's free, they control the access of the data you're supposed to get is limited. You don't know their name, you don't know where they live, you cannot contact them directly. And if you do, they're gonna ban you to try to connect with a maximum of your followers if you try to do that individually, if you try to use the different software, it's not gonna work unless you have a permission from them to have their data. So this is the basic of you know, business. And whenever I talk to people globally, they always say, oh my God, Oh my God, coach, I never heard about that. It's just like, man, you need, that's, that's a foundation of business. You have to know that this is what it's going to take for you to go to the next level. So if you don't have a website with the ability to stream, that's what a platform is, without Facebook Live, Instagram Live, TikTok Live, YouTube, Twitter, or Zoom, you're not going to be able to make it happen. Okay, you're not going to be able to make it happen because you cannot go and build a business on somebody else's platform. So you have to convert and you have to, uh, you need to make a distinction between a follower and a member of your community. And they have to decide. There's different websites you know, out there. You know, I don't want to advertise any of them because I'm not going to get paid. But do your research. If you don't know where to start, contact us. 
we're gonna help you to build your own platform where you can stream, where you can sell merch, where you can sell your books, your online course, have pay-per-view webinar, pay-per-view conference online, talk with a community, go live once a week, three times a week, people pay you monthly, daily, weekly, bi-weekly. We can help you put that in place. Until you have that, I'm sorry, you don't have an online business. And the same thing, especially for ministries as well. Like you cannot rely only on my, oh, I got my YouTube followers, I have my Facebook followers, I have my Instagram followers, I have my TikTok followers, I have my followers on Twitter. This is free platform, we are not friendly with when it comes to ministry. So you cannot count on that. You need to have your own, especially, you know, now what's going on, you need to have your own. Because anytime you're going to say like, hey, we don't need your help. Somebody report your channel twice, you lose it. It happened to me in 2014. I, I created my first YouTube channel in 2010. By 2014, I got half a million views, uh, a couple of thousand of, of subscribers. And I was doing a presentation one day in 2014 because I was helping a ministry and stuff like that. Back then, copyright was very strong before 2014. They shut down my channel. I lost 550 videos. Poof. Half a million views. Poof. Just like that. And most of the people are interviewing my channel back then, today the multi-millionaires, they're doing something. So, you know, it was interview was so precious. But that's what I learned, I said, you know, I need to get something. Yes, somebody said, hey man, you should, you should watch out for copyright and stuff like that. Yes, you're right too. But just to let you know, stop calling it your platform. Call your platform, whatever.com, where people, there is what we call a paywall, a registration wall to get part of your community do that and then we can talk. This is why it's so important for us to go to the next level and go wherever we're supposed to go. Okay? So, I uh, didn't want to you know, be long. Uh, I'm going to do more videos like that in December. I'm going straight English on my name, that's your grandpa, everything. And I believe that is a very good, short, precise episode I'm going to put on my podcast link, my YouTube podcast. I hope that you know that now. YouTube got their own podcast platform so people can listen to it, listen to it again, and feel free to communicate with me in um, the comment. Let me know what you think about what I just said. If you want to add something, maybe you don't agree 100%. You want to bring some argument about what I'm saying. Maybe you say like, no, I should be, um, you know, having, you know, count on the money from the reels and all this kind of stuff. What do you think about what I just said to you? My name is Darcy Gondaga, I'm your host, and I hope that you're going to enjoy it, share it with your friends everywhere. I hope I can put that version even on Instagram so people can listen to it and we can go to the next level together. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.